Okay, good morning, guys. This is the continuation of chapter four. Uh, in this video, we'll be solving two problems. And these two problems are uh, used to find the moment in 3D case. So basically, we know that the moment in 2D case uh, uh, has the magnitude of F times D and the direction using the right hand rule. And here, we will start to find the moment in 3D case using the cross product. So let's start by the first problem. This is the first problem in 3D case to find the moment of rotation. Now we know that in 3D case, if I need to find the moment of rotation, I need to apply the cross product, which means I need to say M is equal to R cross F. And what is R? If I need to find the moment around O, R will be O if point M that belongs to F. To the line of action of F cross M. Okay, so the question is here to find the moment caused by the force F equal to 2 kN around the point O. So my objective basically is to find R and to find the force F. Let's start by R. What is R? We said that R should be O, M, where M is a point on the line of action of the force. So if I take F, I can see that I have two points on F. So I can either take A or B. So I will here take A and you should do B at home and compare the results. You should have the same results as mine. Okay, so what is R? R is equal to OA. What is OA? OA is equal to 12K because it is in the positive direction of Z. Now let's find F in vector 4. How to find F in vector 4? Basically, this is option 3. Remember, this is the third option where F it could be found in vector 4 using the coordinates of points that belong to f by a and b. So basically, f is equal to 2 kN uab. Now what is uab? uab is basically ab over the magnitude of ab. It is by definition the unit vector of ab. Now how to find AB? I should find the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. What are the coordinates of A? A belongs to z-axis, so it is 0, 0, 12. B belongs to the plane x, y, so it is 12, sorry, it is 4 in x, 12 in j, and 0 in z. So now I can find AB. AB will be equal to xb minus xa i plus yb minus ya j plus zb minus za k. So this is it. So let's now find f. f will be equal to f will be equal to 2 AB 4I plus 12J minus 12K over what? Over the magnitude of AB that is 4 squared plus 12 squared plus 12 squared. So here I know F. Now how to find the moment? Basically as we said the moment will be OA cross F. I will do now the matrix method. So OA cross F will be equal to what? In order to find this cross product, I will do the matrix method I, J, K. In the first row, I will put, of course, OA. And don't forget, guys, M is equal to OA cross F and not F cross OA because this will give me a negative answer. IJK. IJK will give, uh, sorry, the first row is IJK, the second row is OA, that is 12K, 
So 12k means it has zero component in I, zero component in J, and 12 components in K. And then I should put F. Now what is F? Basically F will be, if you do this calculation, F will be 0 0.45. 45i plus 1.4j minus 1.4k. So I will put the coordinates of f here. And let's do the matrix cross problem. First of all, I will start by i, so I will cross the column of i and the row of i, and then i will be, the component in R will be 0 times minus 1.4, which is basically 0, minus 12 times 1.4. So it is minus 12 times 1.4. Now, what is J? Don't forget to put a minus sign before J, minus J. Minus J what? I will cross J and the first row of R, and basically it is 0 times minus 1.4, that is 0, minus 12 times 0. 45. So it is minus 12 times 0 0.45, and this will be the moment. So the moment will be minus 16.5i plus 5.5j. So what is nice about the cross product is that I don't have to worry about the right hand rule or the direction of the moment. I can directly find the sign, the direction of the moment by doing the cross product. So you can see here that the moment has a negative direction in I and positive direction in J. So I don't have to do the right hand rule and I don't have to worry about the direction. Now I can do the moment using another method which is basically to substitute OA by 12K, so 12K cross F, and then substitute F by 0.45I plus 1.4J minus 1.4K. And then I can do the cross product of each term because basically the cross is distributed as the following. I can do 12 times 0.45K cross I. Now what is K cross I? Basically, if you apply this method, so if this is i, this is j, and this is k, then this will be the positive direction. Of course, you can do the opposite one, it is the same. Now, here I'm saying that I need to find k cross i, so k cross i is plus j. So, from here comes this term in plus, and then I will do k cross j. k cross j is in the negative direction, so it is minus j sorry, minus i, and from here comes this term in minus i, and finally I can do 12k cross minus 1.4k, so 12 times 1.4k cross k, k cross k is basically zero. That's why I don't have any term here in k. I can, from the figure and from the cross product, predict that there will not be any term in k for the moment of rotation. And this is because basically the moment is equal to r cross f, which means this moment should be perpendicular to r and perpendicular to f. So the moment should be perpendicular to r. And r is in k because it is all a it is in k. So I can make sure, I can predict surely that m should be perpendicular to k, which means it should be in the plane r j. Okay, so this is the second problem in the 3D case for moment. Here I have two forces, f1, and it is given in vector form, and f2 that is also given in vector form. The objective is to find the resultant moment around this point O, which is the point of rotation. So how to do this? I know that the resultant moment and resultant around O should be equal to m caused by the force 1 plus m2 and they are both factors. So my objective is to find m1 and m2. Now how to find m1? Basically it is r1 cross f1. Now what is r1? r1 as I said it is from the point, it is the vector, from the point of rotation to any point that belongs to f1. Now this is f1. I know that a belongs to f1, so I can say that r1 is all a cross f1. 
F1 here in this example is given in vector form, so I only have to find OA, and since OA is in Y, then this is 5J, and in the positive direction, plus 5J. Now, what is N2? N2 basically is R2 plus F2, and what is R2? It is from a point of rotation, which is here O, to any point that belongs to F2. So if I take F2, you can see that B belongs to F2. So basically R2 is OB cross F2. So here you can find M1 using the matrix or using the distributive law. And you can find M2 in the same way. And then when you finish, you should sum M1 and M2 to find the resultant force. Thank you.